Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review The Rumper Butts. And this is a music comedy that apparently was made in like 2015, but is getting a release now. Better late than ever, I guess. And it's starring Jason Edward Hamill and Corey Gardner as Jack and Bonnie, who are an indie band married couple who wind up selling out and becoming The Rumper Butts, a silly children's group. But things start going real south real quick in terms of their relationship. And this is from writer-director Mark Brenner, along with, I guess, maybe brother Josh Brenner, who was in Silicon Valley, who plays Richie the Strange Figure. Is he an angel? Is he a demon? Is he whatever? He just keeps popping up and trying to advance the careers or manipulate the lives of Jack and Bonnie. Along with Arian... Moyed and Vanessa Ray, who are both trying to take down Jack and Bonnie. And you know, there's a lot of moving pieces in this film, but the big thing that really captured my attention was the great music. The You have Mark Brenner and Mates of States who created all the music for this film, and there's tons of jams. I was really engaged by the music. I thought they used the music really well to advance story and characters and... From a musical perspective, like, that really works. The rest of the movie, it's really silly. There's definitely characters that are really annoying and very one-dimensional. You have Josh Brenner's character, Richie, who is actually pretty annoying, but, like, kind of fills that role of, like, a Rufus from Bill and Ted, or, you know, like, a guardian angel in, like, It's a Wonderful Life, and a little bit of Willy Wonka. Strange. And his character is strange. There are definitely a lot of two-dimensional characters, like, you know, the antagonists are very superficial. But, you know, you have this complicated relationship, and there's one particular scene while they're performing as the rumper butts and start making up the words and airing all their dirty laundry out on stage, and it was absolutely hilarious, along with a fun song. And that's the thing, this film thrives when there's music playing and is a little shaky elsewhere. And you could tell this was made for really low budget, shot really low budget, um, like lower than TV budget. And in general, like you could tell and you could see through how cheap and low budget the film is. But there's so much heart that went into this and you can feel that, especially with the music. So if you want to have a fun time listening to some fun music with some silly characters, I think this is enough fun. If you really want like a deep, meaningful, and original story that isn't just full of cliches and some potentially really annoying side characters or antagonists, then it might not be for you. But I had some fun with the Rumper Butts. So hopefully you go check it out because, you know, this little film has some really great music and could sure use a little love. But those are my thoughts on Rumper, the Rumper Butts. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.